guys so welcome back to unicorn magic so today as you saw in the thumbnail we are going to be combining create this book and squishy makeovers and i'm literally so excited for this i know where elizabeth did it i thought it was a super cool idea and i have my own create this book so i thought it would be perfect i have a bunch of squishies like that i've tied with the time also i want to buy a new set i'm gonna put two on screen comment down below which one you think i should buy because i don't know I'll do set A and set B. So comment down below which one I should buy. Let's get on to this flip. I'm just going to close my eyes and go to a page. This one. Create ugliness? No. Good thing that was just a test run. <laughs> We're not doing that. Okay, ready? Alright, we're just going to... Create something educational, something that you learned in school. I have an idea. Let's get into this makeover, okay? Okay, hello. So I'm just getting out my squishies and I'm just like looking through them, seeing which ones I have. I'm just like gathering them up. Oh, and I got these like squishy blank, squishy, you're supposed to paint on them. So I got two sets of them and I have this star one and i also have another set with like a dinosaur this is actually cousin derp but i have a dinosaur and a shark and you know how you learn about space and under the sea in school so like yeah that's what i was choosing and then i chose the star in the end right now i am sanding this squishy which really didn't need to be done because it really is one of those absorbent squishies so it didn't really need to be sanded but i did it anyway and now i'm painting this this navy blue color like it's i think it's a really pretty color i think it's pretty nice it took a lot of layers because again it's a, one of those squishies that absorbs the paint now i'm just trying to dab on some like cool galaxy colors but uh eh. I just went in with my paintbrush and started uh, like blocking in the color and then later I will blend it together. Right here I'm using this little paintbrush to get a bunch of the color on. A little, I'm laying on the paint pretty thick so then I don't have to do 5 million layers because this is straight slick paint. Here how it looks and now I'm going in with the last-ish layer. <laughs> I'm back. So um, right now I'm adding some stars, like the paintbrush technique where you flail the paint. I don't know. Pretty sure a toothbrush works better for this, but I didn't have a toothbrush that was, you know, you know, like a, a toothbrush that could be ruined. Anyways, now I'm just adding some stars. I tried to do a big star right there, but it didn't work out. So I just made it a moon, but I think it looks really good in the end anyways. Now I'm just using a smaller paintbrush and doing some more stars and stuff like that now i'm finally bringing out my dotting tool geez i don't know why i didn't do that in the first place then i had another big star it was kind of ugly so i just <laughs> wiped it off goodbye now i'm doing a second coat on the moon because it's a little transparent and then i made like a little asteroid now on the back i'm signing my initials ta-da I really like how this one turned out. This is before and this is after. I really, really like it. It's way better than the blank star, obviously. But <laughs> yeah, I, I had a good squish before, but it has an even better one now that it's done a makeover. It is kind of like flat though, so yeah. But nice little slow rise moments. And yeah, so this is how it turned out. I really, 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 really like it and so yeah hi we are going to do the next one right now so let's um let's just um scribbles okay then let's get on to that makeover. Okay, so right now we are sanding the squishy. It has a ripped neck, which is not good, and a hole in the head. So I have to patch that up, which is what I was doing right there. And you can't really see what I'm doing. You can a little bit, but not really. That's okay, though. 
Anywho, I really like this squishy, but I think I love how I love how it turned out, honestly. It's the best thing. Right now I'm cutting like a pencil for her to hold because scribbles. Yes. Now I'm painting a white base coat. Stop staring at me. <laughs> Anyways, I'm painting a white base coat and it is going pretty well. I think I did like three white paint coats on this squishy. I think I showed all of them. Um, so I apologize if you don't like watching me paint white on white. Right now I'm fixing the pencil because it has a bunch of like pores in it from the spongy material that I used to make it out of and we're going back in with white on the penguin. White on the penguin. Yeah. <laughs> I need to plug in my phone. Anyways, yeah, so I have the front of it white. Now I'm just painting the back. Here goes another layer. I'm finally painting the penguin gray. Yeah, I'm not painting it black like a normal penguin. Also, I forgot that penguins have like bellies that are white. Yeah, so for now, the belly is gray. Anyways, uh, I was going to paint this pencil light blue at first, but eh, I decided against that later. But that's how I dried it for now, for that time. Now I'm just touching up some of the gray around the nose and the face. Now I'm just mixing up some uh, orange for the feet and the nose. And now I'm working on the face, around the face. And this is when I realized that penguins have stomachs. So yeah, I literally had to look up a cartoon picture of a penguin to figure this out. I don't know what the heck was going on with my brain that day, but yeah. Now I'm working on the pencil again. I think the pencil turned out pretty cute. Now I'm just doing another layer of white for touch-ups and stuff because it was looking pretty transparent the first coat. So I think it looks pretty good in the end. And the back started peeling, so I just had to put some puffy paint on it, let it dry, and now I'm painting the back gray because I completely forgot about the back. Now I'm just sketching out the eyes because I really didn't know what I wanted to do for the eyes, so it's kind of a disaster. But um, yeah, I think the eyes turned out really cute in the end though, besides this disaster that is unfolding right now. It was really hard to line up the eyes and make sure they were straight and the same size. It was really hard. Now I'm trying to like make the eyes like a pupil in them. I absolutely hated that. Look at that eye, that's a bad eye. It looks scary, it looks a little scary. It was kind of hard to paint it because the background was white too, so I just decided to cover, cover it up, cover it up. I just put black back over it to make a little pupil. I'm like, no, 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 no. Then I smeared it and I was like, oh no. Then I just painted over it again and it was fine in the end, but the face was getting a little lumpy chunky, so I was getting nervous. 
me panicking um i'm just trying to do some cute kawaii eyes look at those eyelashes those eyelashes are cute and then i did some highlights and now i'm just doing the scribbles she's gonna have like little scribbles all over her i think it's really cute a cute little idea Now I'm just doing some cute little blush on her face. And voila, this is done. Uh, I didn't have before and after pictures, so that's a marker. But this is how she turned out with her little pencil. She looks so good. And this is before um, marker, cause she scribbled all over herself, so yeah. Um, and after, I think it turned out so cute. She is so cute. I love her so much. I'm pretty sure her name is Scribbles, but I'm not 100% sure yet. But I really like her. She is so cute. Her eyes are so cute. I thought they would be too simple, but they're so cute. The pencil, pencil, the pencil is really cute too. And they look adorable together. They're kind of like a squishy pair, and I love that. Also, not just because I forgot to attach a pencil, no. Hi guys, so I have a little story to tell you. I recorded me flipping. I did create this book too this time. I flipped through and I found a page. And I don't know where that piece of footage is that I flipped through the book. But um, I bookmarked it. Um, the <laughs> this is what I picked. It was a uh, creative difference in altitude. Yeah. So on to me making that squishy now let's get on to that thank you for that lovely insightful information anyways we're starting off with this coffee i don't know what it is about this coffee but it called to me so first we're sanding this squishy down and it looks pretty nice and we're going to trim the seams i forgot to do this on the other ones but you know i like to do it and now i'm covering some of the holes in the top and just sealing in those gaps there was a hole in the bottom too so that needed to be sealed up and now for the wide base coat do 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 you can't see what i'm doing do 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 more white paint do 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 yeah 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 i never know what to say when it's the base coat oh i've changed outfits as you can see <laughs> No, I am painting the top white, which didn't end up needing to happen because I didn't sand the top very well. I didn't think that it would need to be sanded, but it did need to be sanded, like, really badly. So, yeah. I ended up repainting the top. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear that in the background. My father is building something. I don't know. Also, I'm painting the top of the whipped cream this dark purple color okay you probably have no idea what i'm doing <laughs> but i'm gonna share with you my idea so what i want to do with this squishy is have see the whipped cream magically is not painted anymore i want to make this squishy a difference in altitude like the prompt set so the whipped cream is going to be like mountains and the cup is going to be the ocean yes the the ocean i know what you're thinking why just 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 why because the ocean is low altitude down 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 to the bottom of the sea where our salty friend spongebob waits for you and me and the sky i mean that not the sky the mountains are high altitude. So it's a difference in altitude, okay? Okay, it makes sense. I'm just painting the top purple. I'm going with a thick layer with my dotting tool. And I thought I would only have to do one coat, but obviously I didn't. I had to do another one. This took forever. It took me a whole 15 minutes. I'm joking, but you know, you know what I mean. It took forever, forever. <laughs> I'm finished.
finishing up this purple paint, I'm going to talk about my dog. I, if you know, I have a dog, Daisy, and she is crazy. Every time we walk through the door, she acts like we've been, been gone for 10 years and we forgot about her. We did not do any of that. <laughs> we've been gone for an hour and she's just acting like we've been gone for 10 years. Does your dog do that? If you have a dog or a cat or probably cats don't do that, right? I've never had a cat in my life. But, like, I feel like a dog is more likely to do that. Anyways, comment down below if your dog does that. Oh, and here I go in with the blue for the ocean. I love this blue color. This blue color is so pretty. So pretty. But, yeah. Also, I'm sitting in a pile of squishmallows right now. It's, it's the life. Now I'm going in with the sea kelp. Is that what it's called? And the coral. Coral. I know how to say it. And all these other little things. I don't know exactly what these are, but y yeah. I forgot sand also before you start typing a comment. Yes, I forgot the sand. It's fine. Also, there's an orange fishy there because I was very compelled by Mariah Elizabeth's story time about orange fishies. And then I have a dark blue layer between the two thingy my bobbers between the ocean and the in the in the in the in the clouds i mean the bah, the mountains oh also i added a puffer fish right there and uh there's snow on the mountains now did i just skip through that or did i not see it i don't know i was probably wrapped up in a story but so yeah hello i am back so i'm basically done with this i didn't have before and after shots so here's squidward <laughs> And uh, this is after I did a whole spin around so you could see the whole thing. That little puff of fish is my favorite. And it's Squidward again. And he fell and he does the spin. He's like break dancing. Do 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 do. Anyways, yeah, so this is Squidward. And he's subbing in for the drink that is also ocean. Is this a, like a salt water drink now? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it's like a sea salt drink. I don't know, comment down below if there's like a drink, uh, something like that, like a mermaid drink or, or something, something, something similar that could be this. But um, I love this little puffer fish almost out of suck helps and the f orange fish I guess. So helps is so adorable. And this is all of them together. So I think it turned out so cute. They're so cute. But I think they look so cute together. They're all so cute together. And um, kind of knocked them over. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this is the little star. It turned out very cute. I really like the star. I don't, I do think that this is my least favorite for this episode. But then we have the little pencil so cute with scribbles oh i love scribbles so much scribbles i think is my favorite of this episode and so this is the coffee it's adorable and so yeah hello and goodbye thank you guys for watching this video hope you enjoyed please don't forget to like and subscribe i just recently hit 1000 subscribers thank you so much i will have a celebration video coming out soon comment down below if you have any ideas for a celebration video please help me uh, get to my next goal, which is 1,500 subscribers, and I will see you next time. Bye!